Good day, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And for all the new ones, you're you're. See, I can't even talk. <laughs> Feel like liking and subscribing and staying for a while with this. Um. I want to tell everybody here. Um, I mainly do this stuff to help me manage pain and anxiety and depression. Um, even just coming on here and teaching y'all little bitty things. And, and I'm not the teacher. I'm just a, I'm just a student. There's an old saying: you never learn everything you can about something. And I, that's true. So, to me, I'm still a little student to Miss Lori at, over at Color My World. Anyway, um, like I said, I do this to, it, it's for, you know, my mental, my physical, whatever. Whatever's bothering me tonight. The rain, it's all, mm, my eyes is all tore up. But, um, we're on the subject of budget pencils now. Um, I know a lot of you do, but I know there's some that have higher, more expensive brands. But, me and what I'm doing is coloring and coloring books. Um, so some things don't matter about them. Now, it do matter if I want to spray one to put it on the wall because if that stuff smears and Monarch is bad about it, worse than Arteza. But let me know in the comment section, does light fastness and all that matter to you? Or is it the affordability? Um, do you really want to know about light fastness and all that? I guess what I'm asking. And you can leave leave them in the comments below, because I'm just I'm just uh, curious if that kind of stuff matters to y'all. Because uh, as for me, it don't. Um, because I do have pencils that are light fast but I don't use them very often because but anyway I'd like your opinions on that and uh, you can leave them in the comments below um yeah I'd like to uh, to know if that kind of stuff matters to you or is it the price what matters to you just let me know or it could be both that matters to you I don't know um, just leave me a comment and, and disclaimer here, well, if these come out the same, and I tell you, looking on the page, they're the same, I'm saying the result on the paper came out the same. I'm not saying the pencils are the same, okay? Let's get that out of the way. Okay, we got another versus here. Yeah, I'm doing, uh... Star Joy because you know the new Star Joys are going to be here shortly so I wanted to do another versus so I've got the old red orange and yellow out Here's my red remember you want light layers hold your pencil to back then you want to come over here with your yellow Yes, I'm aware that's left-handed. <laughs> I can use both hands, but I I try to make myself stay on the right so I don't get all confused. Now, the, the pencils I'm going up against, they are oil-based. These are Star Joys, and they are oil-based 
um, and they don't blend, they layer. You put one layer on top of another layer. It takes a little while sometimes, especially for this really light yellow. Start to show up. Okay. Oh, I have a new sharpener now. Well, the one that messed up on the video the other day, um, I sent it back. The, uh, the safety in the motor was stuck, and they wanted to send me another one like it, and I said, no, I don't, I don't really want another one like it. So, they asked me about, you know, did I want to put it toward put the credit toward uh, uh, something else and I said yes I do and uh, they said well go and find whatever it is and if there was any money left to just spend it on something else so Miss Lori had uh, showed us a new pencil sharpener and I thought to myself, well, that's good timing, because I'm in a need for, for a new pencil sharpener. And uh, so, after I watched her video and everything, I went on Amazon and I found it. And, boy, is it a good one. I'm checking it. This I checked it off camera this time. Yeah, I know y'all thought that was funny. Ha ha. It was kind of funny after I got over being upset. I thought, Lord, I done spent this money on this thing and now it don't work. So. I'm trying to do this where y'all can see it. See how it, they, it is? It looks like it's blended, okay, but it's not. It's just one color and a layer over another one. So, it's not blending. Yeah, and people get it. I hear it all the time. I ordered a budget set of pencils and they don't blend. There must be something wrong with it. No, there's nothing wrong with them. You just gotta learn how to use them. And they don't, can't stress this enough, they don't blend. You have to layer. And this could take forever. I hope it doesn't. When it's getting there, I think you can see it. I get the gist of it anyway. My back is hurting. This weather's got me all tore up. Can y'all see that yellow? I hope y'all can see that little yellow. yellow. All right. That is the Star Joys. Now, here's the pencil sharpener that uh, Miss Lori showed us. It's got a big canister here for uh, shavings. It does have auto stop and it does work. And it's by Jarlink and it comes. You can put batteries in it, 
or you can just put it into the wall. It's got a thing for it. And you just uh, put your pencil in there. And you get a big old, <laughs> look at that. You get a big old, uh, where's that? I can't see through my... Um, can you see it? See how sharp that is? That's one sharp pencil right there. You see how sharp those are? Um, they're not sharp either. So let me sharpen. Ooh, sorry about that. Look at this. Oh, oh, can you see it? Oh, can you see it? Look how long that, that is. It puts a tip on them. That one's on your nose. So this sharpener works. It's a jar link. Um, like I said, uh, Miss Lori over at Color, Color Your World, uh, she showed us that, and uh, so I thought I would bring it, and uh, that looks pink, but it looks yellow on the paper. Let me find it. This, this one just looks, it looks pink. Let me find what I know is yellow. Come on. I know that's yellow. I need my. But yeah. Miss Lori, she, she was telling us all about this jar link, and I'm like, I'm all over that. <laughs> I'm all over that. And, uh,. So I went on Amazon and did my thing. When you get these tips, this sharp, this pointed, don't mash down. You'll break it. You have to go real easy with them. Now, these hero pencils, they are right now about the same price as Star Joys. And I said they're just them Guang Hui. It's called Hero Pencils. I've had them sitting around here. I don't ever use them. This is why I don't ever use them. You can't get color out of them. I got Crayolas that work better than this. The yellow is a no-show. <sighs> That's 
Uh -huh. <laughs> See, it just don't want to lay down here without having to push on it. You know, the yellow isn't, isn't even coming up. Orange looks so much like the red, it ain't funny. I don't know about you, but as far as pigment goes, about you guys but this looks like Crayola but these are the hero pencils Guang Hui y'all know the ones I'm talking about you'll, you'll know they're all all <laughs> Chinese um this was the start of it. Okay. This side, more vibrant. This side, no. It was getting dull every time I was so, you get one strike, you get one strike. Okay, um, did it layer smoothly? Yes, this layered smoothly. Did this side layer? No. It didn't layer. We, um, as far as the colors being, I think these, I think Starjoy is, um, more pigmented, because this is looking orange, and y'all, this, this, this pencil was red, trust me, that, fire engine red that I was using on it and it wasn't getting any darker it was getting and with with the uh, hero pencils I was having to mash so hard just to get any pigment out of it at all it just wasn't happening and it's still ain't. it's like um well how can I say it it's like Crayola's. But Crayola is wax and these are oil. Now see, I'm I'm pressing down with all I got. And I still have yet to get that brightness. So price on the price they're even Steven. They're they're about the same price for the same amount of pencils. But where Starjoy has it is on the pigments, our vibrant color, and layered down smooth, where these didn't. I was having to 
mashing them with my hand. Um, let me show you something. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna take me out some Crayola. Kids Crayola. These are for kids. And I'm gonna lay it right here beside the Guang Hui. Take the orange. Really, I wish they would. Red, orange. Okay. And the yellow. And I'm bucking them side by side right here. And again, you're not getting nothing out of the. There's my regular orange. Now, I'm going to draw a line down here. Because this is the, um, this is Crayola. Here. And the Hero Pencils are here. We're doing a side-by-side -side test here. Okay. You know what? I think the Crayola goes down smoother than the... And these are wax base. So they don't mix with the oil, but they will blend with each other. So... But I just wanted to see... And I'm not even mashing down hard. Like, those Hero Pencils, I was mashing down hard kind of sort of getting the same feeling again <sighs> but these ain't blending either that's all I'm going to do there because we're just going to get the same result the Guang Hui and the Crayola I'd have to say Oh, I'd have to say the Crayola one that one. Um, yeah. Crayola beat Hero Pencil. Star Joy beat Hero Pencil. So, Hero's down and out for the count. And like I said, the reason I'm doing these verses between, um, the Star Joys is... I want to keep everybody pumped about, you know, the new sets that are coming. And they are coming, I promise you. And don't forget to tell me down in the comments, does what matters when, when you decide to buy a set of pencils? Is it the price of the pencil? Is it about light fatness of the pencil? Um, is it, you know, if it breaks down with water? Is that going to sway you? Because if you're worried about light fastness and all that, and it breaks down once you put your spray on it, it's going to turn to mud. So <clears throat> just put down in the comments whatever you have. Uh, you know, um, does light fastness matter when you're looking for a set of pencils? Does light fastness matter? Does price matter? Which, if you're like me and you're looking at a budget pencil, yes, the price does matter. Or is it quality? Yeah, or is it a one or more of those things? Um, I'd like to have everybody's opinions about it. And, uh, because I know if I'm buying a budget set, I'm buying it to save wear and tear 
on my prismas and my polychromos. Because I only had 36 polychromos and my set of prisma colors are starting to thin out. And so I've been buying budget pencils to, uh, you know, I save my good pencils for good work. But I would, I was just wanting to know what mattered to you guys when you decide to go looking for pencils. Well, like I said, when I go on Amazon, I'm a cheap ass. I'm going to tell you I am. I, when I go on Amazon and I'm looking for art supplies, I'm searching for the cheap of the cheap. Okay? And, uh... And it doesn't matter, because, you know, I know that I'm not going to use that set for something good, so. Well, just give me, your, give me your opinions. And for all the new ones here, thank you for subscribing. Um, you can give me a like if you want to. That helps the YouTube algorithm. And, um, oh, I want to show you what I did. Um. On me woman I was coloring and I'm still coloring okay I'm you there's her hat y'all know what her hat does it sparkles I did her vest the same way if you can see the sparkle or not oh yeah there it goes but yeah, I made her vest down here to match her hat. And I will get back on this. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick comparison there. And wanted to get your thoughts on um, what matters in, in a colored pencil to you. Because I would really love to know. You know, is people thinking the same thing I am? Um... Just give me some comments. Tell me, tell me what you, what you're looking for when you go to buy a set of colored pencils. And with that, I'm gonna say goodbye. See you in the next one.